soon um, and it's pretty late into August so everyone's pretty gone everyone's already gone so I'm feeling kind of lonely so maybe that's contributing to the video making mood the video making mood I digress but we're just down today we're super comfy today I can't wait for you guys to get comfy with me and to show you what I got um, I see no reason why not to get started right away. Um, a lot of this stuff is stuff that's necessary for my dorm living. You know, I'm doing university housing for one more year. And so a lot of this stuff is college kid stuff. Um, but yeah, or at least college Bella stuff. Let's start with this beautiful peppermint tea, and I may do a little bit of over-explaining, 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 because I personally love those types of videos, and I love hearing all the little things that people can find to say about um, trifling. off we have the peppermint tea from Celestial Seasoning. This is herbal tea and it comes with 20 tea bags. Um, I love this tea. Peppermint is my favorite flavor of tea. However, I think after I'm done with these boxes, there's another one after to loose leaf tea. <clears throat> you know, tea bags are kind of like tea bags, the tea community I hear are kind of like Keurig pods to the coffee community. It's just not the mood. So sleepy vibes then. I guess both are going to be good for night time. I, I drink coffee in the morning anyway, so it's fine. Are you guys ready to move on from tea? Me too. The next thing I got is also in cardboard. Cardboard, 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 cardboard packaging. So, some more cardboard tapping sounds. This is a glass garlic iron. 
I truly felt like I got everything I wanted this year. Um, I understand why a lot of people don't like haul videos and yeah, I'm not trying to show off. I'm very appreciative of all this stuff. I just feel honestly immense gratitude this year because I truly did get everything I wanted. And this was one of the things on my list or on my list of clasp, 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 curling iron. This is a Hot Tools, Hot Tools, Hot Tools, Hot Tools professional curling iron. You can look right here. Hot Tools, Hot Tools, Hot Tools. I didn't ask for any brand in particular, but this one looks really cute. <laughs> a pot or pan for my birthday. This is obviously non-stick because I can't use not non-stick cookware. Like, I just can't. I ripped the tag off so I don't have the brand name. But, yeah. It's nice. It has this rubber They lay over the tapping, like the personal attention with the tapping, so it's like your face is made out of wood or your face is made out of metal. Those videos are really nice. I wonder if this will seem like it. Not quite, but Next thing is an item for another item for my hair. <laughs> it's a beautiful purple silk bonnet. Um, I, I know my hair is. Oh, it honestly doesn't look that curly right now. But I know my hair is tied back. I know my hair is tied back, but I. Usually, my natural hair is. Natural hair type is 2C, so I don't really have coily curls, but I have very, you know, that type of hair. And I don't know if I've, I know I've recorded videos with straight hair, so I don't know if you can really see my natural hair in my other videos. I'm sure you can, but yeah, my roommate last year highly recommended that I get one for my hair, and basically everyone and their mom has been preaching the effectiveness of bonnets and how good they are for your hair. And 
messing with curly hair. It was finally time, so I have a lot of now. I wore it the other night, and I literally woke up <clears throat> because I wake up with crazy hair. just looking for a hair tie. Back on the hood goes so good. But yeah, the bonnet didn't the bonnet didn't really make much of a sound. So. Moving on to probably I think the last hair product of the no not the last hair product but another hair product. The Joyco Dream Blowout Thermal Protection Cream. Just finish the hair products. Last year when I moved in, I just kind of got the cheapest body wash and shampoo. Um just just cause um just from Costco. But this year I asked for my birthday for Sephora shampoo and conditioner. So a nice shampoo and conditioner. Uh, and my mom picked out the Amica Palpatine Dream Conditioner and Shampoo. And my body wash for this year is the Dove Cherry and Chia Milk. Since I'm packing, this is all in one big Ziploc bag. Naturally, I wanted a matcha strainer. I got this mesh strainer.
ceremonial matcha. I honestly, I was a little bit nervous because the matcha I have right now that I love is the is culinary grade matcha. I've never actually had a nice ceremonial matcha for myself, but I'm really hoping that this is good. It looks good. It looks good. Um, but yeah, this is the Uchi Dog, the Path of Zen ceremonial blend matcha. You can't hear it much because it actually it's packed to the brim. It's like like up to here, so there's not that much room, which I love. I love that there's not a lot of space. Like yes, please give me the full. It says there's 91 servings here, which like, that sounds a little insane to me. It says a f you only need a fourth of a teaspoon, a teaspoon. So, it says it's for the directions, mix into smoothies, lattes, and other recipes. <clears throat> or simply mix one fourth to one half teaspoonful of matcha into two ounces of hot or cold water. And I guess it's just, just matcha. No sugar or anything. Yeah, I really, I've been, I've tried a lot of different, or not a lot, maybe like five plus different types of matcha. And four maybe. Um, but I really don't like any with the sugar in it. I like the ones that are just matcha. Um. Like, I really, unfortunately, don't like either the Trader Joe's or the Target Matchas. So, yeah, I definitely was excited to get something different. Also, I, if I look different, it's, I just don't have makeup on and I cried earlier. So, no judgment, no judgment. Alright, this next thing. Another hair product. I didn't even realize how many hair products I got. I'm not really a hair product fiend. I guess I just got all of them at once. Like, that's funny. Anyways, I caved and bought the Lush Super Milk. If you haven't heard of this, this is a little bit of a viral smell on TikTok and just the internet. Milk conditioning hair primer, an almond, coconut, and oat milk hydrator that seals moisture into freshly washed hair and perks up dry curls. It smells delicious. It smells delicious. Oh, that smells so good. And I was debating between this or the other popular scent, Sticky Dates. So I went into the store. I went into the store and I did not like the sticky dates. It was way too sweet for me. It literally just felt like if I was like it smelled like just syrup to me. That's just my honest opinion. Um, but this one smells. It kind of has that lush smell if you know what a lot of their products smell like or their store smells like. But this is a more refined version of that delicious lush smell. So, yeah. Another thing about their products, though, is that my sister has one of their perfumes and it smells so good and it stays on her for hours. For hours. Like, she smells good all day with just one spritz. It's actually crazy. She owns the Karma Lush Perfume. It's so good. And I'm hoping this stays on me as long as that stays on her. We have this Kai Mai Gold Raw Multifloral Manuka Honey. Sea 
Zealand. Um, product of New Zealand. Um, this was just my sister's idea to get this for me, and I actually, she knows me so well because this is not something I don't think I'd ever ask for, but I love Bugatti. I love it. I just never think to ask for it, so this is honestly just like a good sister moment. Um, I'm super excited to try this. I'm not gonna open it, open it until I move next week, but yeah, this is the honey. It looks really yummy. I, I feel like it was so close to the camera. Okay. <clears throat> These are all of the spices that I've been taking with me. excited to just cook for myself and eat for myself and do all that um, but I got this organic oregano dishes with this, some Thai dishes, but yeah, I'm super excited to experiment with this new spice. It worked new for me. Um, other than that, I have a couple spices that I'm just going to be taking from home that no one else in the house uses, or at least my mom doesn't use. which is, I put so much paprika on everything I season. When I season like chicken or just anything, so much paprika. And that's, I think, the whole food spice. Simple truth, or maybe, I think that's Target. I don't know. Um, and then I have cardamom, which I just love anything like rose cardamom, cardamom cookies, cardamom baked goods, um, cardamom latte. So I love cardamom. Um, there's some ground turmeric, some sumac. I actually got a little pack of sumac 
for my travels in France this summer. I brought it back with me and I just put it in this little jar. So this one's kind of, is it, I don't know if it's odd to say that a spice is dear to you, but this one is, this one is, and then this last one is garam masala, which um, is in, I think, I don't want to get it wrong, um, correct me if I'm wrong, no, it is Indian, I'm almost positive that it is an Indian spice blend, um, my sister went through our whole jar of garam masala, so, there's none left here. She loves it. So she literally, her, one of her favorite snacks is, and I don't, she just really grew to love this. It's just a can of chickpeas with a shit ton of this on it, which is like, good for her. Um, but yeah, I love it too. So we picked up some of that and I, I can't wait to use it. Um, In some of my chicken dishes or soup curry type of dishes um, or even just I even would like to just season like the Trader Joe's Indian food is it's good but it could use a little bit more so I'm wondering if I could even just I just like a lot of seasoning on everything so I'm wondering if I could just like use sprinkle a bunch of that on it and like I'm one of those people who will actually use the salt and pepper at the restaurants, like, on everything, so, yeah. Very important. Super excited. Let's put these away now. I love some of the spices. Alright. Another little thing that I guess I've shown you guys, but I haven't shown you guys, is this hoodie. I don't own a hoodie that's zip up besides this one that I got. Well, actually, there's, I have a gray one with a stain on it that's like, this is navy on it, but I don't have like a big comfy hoodie like this until the other day. This one is from Free People. Let's see. It's, I don't know if it, I don't know if it's Free People Movement or just Free People, but it has these really great pockets on the side. Super big and comfy. Next, we have a gift I bought for myself a little bit before my birthday, so it's not quite a part of the birthday haul. Um, I went to a little town in the northern part of my state and there were a lot of cute gift shops and I have been in need for an ashtray um, or in need of an ashtray and I finally found one that I just really liked it looks like a heart it has these beautiful like blue and pink crystals in here um, I don't really know how they make this kind of stuff I'm curious about the process that goes into this but, um, yeah, I honestly was not expecting to find an, a, I guess, a first-hand ashtray for myself because I feel like a lot of people find ashtrays, um, second-hand at Goodwill or thrift stores or antique stores, but sometimes, and I'm definitely a proponent of second-hand, like, trinkets, I have a billion of them, but it is nice to find something like this for yourself sometimes that um 
you can be the first owner of and pass down and maybe someone else will own this after me and you know get some use out of it after me i think that would be beautiful but for now it's mine for now it's mine and i probably won't end up smoking in my dorm i don't know if i'll get that audacious and you know it depends on the stress level in the day but Sweetmates would appreciate, um, I'm sure the rest of the place would end up smelling like cigarettes, like, if I started smoking inside some way, somehow. So, yeah, I don't, pretend, I don't know how I'm going to make proper use out of this, but don't worry, I'll find a way. should be good but um oh and it's i know she definitely got it thrifting but because especially because the tag looks so old but it's from free people oh and it has these beautiful ties <laughs> and the back is really pretty too so i already wore it too okay and then next took me shopping and we went to the perfume counter and I have been wanting to try the samples of the late Labo scents so bad so I just they're free but I got two samples I got this LYS which I'm kind of I would assume it stands for love yourself but I'm not positive but it's a beautiful I really like it um, I told it the man at the counter that I liked more ambery scents. And oh, this was not the amber scent that he picked out. He picked out the rose scent for me, and that's the other one I have a sample of. But this one is okay, it doesn't say anything about the notes, but I just love this brand and and now I can say I love their perfume too because I've smelled their other products before. I mean, I've had friends who've been wearing this stuff for so long, but I am glad that I've sampled them now because I am interested in a full size.
Chanel Blush Compact. It looks so pretty with my nails. Let's, let's open her up. Wow. This is the shade Rose Initial. The lady at the Chanel counter told me that Rose Initial is a fair shade that looks flattering on pretty much everybody. So I thought that it would be perfect to try for my first Chanel beauty product. I came with a sample mascara too. Um, I typically wear a lot of bright blushes, but I think Chanel is such an elegant brand. It was a good idea to get a kind of subtle shade and something that I don't really have because I have enough. I have bright red blush, bright pink blush, bright orange blush. Like, I need something super light like this that I can just, you know. So, that was very exciting for me. And last but certainly not least is probably the most ASMR friendly gift. My older sister actually got this for me, not the other one. And this was such a good idea. I had been talking about wanting to try a service involving these items. But I don't think she was there for those conversations, so I really don't know how she came up with this gift idea for me. But I love it. It's here. I'm gonna put it on this book. But it's a sound bowl. So pretty. I love even this packaging, but yeah, it's a really pretty olive green color with gold detailing. And this is just from a local store in my area. But I, I haven't really looked into how to use the sound bowls, the sound bowl yet. I understand that the general premise is that you're not supposed to be touching them. Slide the device around the edge, you know. So, honestly, comment below if you'd like to see a video of me using this once I once I master it. Definitely not at this beginner level, but I would love to make use of this, um, not just for myself but for you guys. So, if that's something that you'd be interesting interested in. Honestly, don't know how the sound picks up on camera. I don't want it to be too loud, so I'm not gonna fiddle with it too much, but be excited about it. I think that's it, you guys. Um, I had an amazing haul this year. I'm so grateful for everything again. And I just feel blessed. I really do feel blessed. Um, I know this is definitely different content from what I was posting at the beginning of my channel and I was posting like records and music and book stuff and I definitely plan to get back into that. I mean, I have my own room this year. This is just kind of like a Bella update, end of haul. Um, but I have my own room this year. Um, something that prevented me from making videos last year was the fact that I shared a room with another person, but hopefully since I'll have more private alone time, um, I'll be 
be able to record more um because i truly do love recording and when i'm in the academic mindset i definitely get more into my music and my books and my movies so um if i do continue to make some content while i'm living away again this year i would definitely expect more videos pertaining to that type of stuff i just thought that this was too easy and too fun of a video idea to pass up and i myself love hauls so i hope you guys enjoyed this but um i also hope that i get to make some of my older style content soon and yeah thank you guys for joining me and relaxing with me today it was so much fun um my candle that i also got is probably gonna get lit after i finish this video and say good night um thank you guys again i hope you guys are all having the best the best 